What is up guys, Ram Hanawan here and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh number 51. This episode we are once again on Dev Pro and we are covering a new archetype, the fascinating archetype. Now, uh, I'm not too sure about these guys, they're a little bit eh, if you ask me, but uh, last episode was episode 50, we did do a Q&A special, a lot of people seem to enjoy it, I did get a lot more questions, so I'll be doing another Q&A in the future just so you guys know, so... Uh, I might mention it in every episode if you guys want to leave questions for a future Q&A video, uh, just feel free to. But anyway, like I said, the fascinating archetype, and these guys aren't so fascinating. Basically, they revolve around one certain trap card, and that trap card is holes and trap holes, like um, trap hole, bottomless trap hole, acid trap hole, etc, etc. Now, the trap holes themselves, they've been around for a while, different kinds of ones, and they're actually decent cards. And these guys just work with those, they get the holes out. Now, like I said, as an archetype and trying to build a deck out of these, these are not good cards. You, if I wouldn't recommend trying to build these into their own deck. But I do feel that these guys could be some sort of support if you decide, you know, I'm going to run all my traps as traps, uh, as trap holes, sorry, or holes. Then you can throw some of these guys in there for that extra support to bring those holes out and get some uh, get some more effects off with these guys themselves. So I'm quickly going to run through them. We've got Atora the Fascinating Fiend. This card is unaffected by the effects of hole and trap hole normal trap cards except dark trap hole. You can activate hole and trap hole normal traps from your hand except dark hole. Uh, except dark trap hole. The activations and effects of normal trap cards you control cannot be negated. So she is probably the best one out of uh, the three new monsters. As it says, the activations effect of normal trap cards you control cannot be negated. So that's not just holes and trap holes. That is um, just general normal trap cards. So mirror force, dimensional uh, prison, things like that. Also, you can activate a hole and tra uh, trap hole normal trap card from your hand. Um... Sometimes they come in useful, a lot of them like bottomless, trap hole, things like that, you just have to do anyway. But things like acid trap hole are uh, very effective, just pop off from the hand, so that's a decent effect there. Now we have uh, Kazuru, the fascinating fiend. This card again is unaffected by the effects of hole and trap hole, normal trap cards except dark trap hole. You can activate uh, the hole and trap holes. Oh wait, you can't activate trolls and trap holes from your hands, sorry. Uh, but when a hole or trap hole normal card is activated, except dark trap hole, you can either add one fascinating monster from your deck to your hand, or special summon one fascinating monster from your deck. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. And then we have Tree on the Fascinating Fiend. This card is unaffected by the effects of hole and trap hole normal cards, blah blah blah. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one hole or trap hole normal card from your deck to your hand, except dark trap hole. When this card is special summoned, destroy one uh, target, one spell or trap your opponent controls, destroy that target. So, all around not bad effects. It's, and I think, um, I was thinking about it earlier. Six years ago, six or seven years ago, I think this archetype would have been fantastic. Just all the, all the trap holes we have now with these three cards six or seven years ago, Fantastic. Take XYZs out, take Synchrons out. Fantastic, fantastic. Dark type, it probably work really well because people are more inclined to attack face down defense position cards now. More inclined just to go in for the normal summon without um, uh, any protection or anything like that. Not to check the back row or anything like that first. So like I said, six or seven years ago, amazing art type. Probably would have been a very powerful one and a hard one to counter. In today's age, I just, I don't think so. A lot more people are uh, wary. Like uh, Kazuru, the fascinating fiend. 800 attack, 2000 defense. You really want to set that and let someone attack into it. Nowadays, people aren't attacking into it. They're take, they're like setting Raikus and wiping out that way. They're getting a really powerful monster out and they're trying to get into your uh, defense that way. That's just how the format is nowadays and it's... Um, uh, I'm not going to say it sucks because it doesn't suck, it's fun. Uh, it's fun format, it's a good format, but this archetype is 6 or 7 years late, it should have been, it. well, I don't know what to say, it, it would have been better 6 or 7 years ago with the, um, 
with a trap, acid trap hole, trap hole, bottomless trap hole, etc, etc. So, yeah, some of these individual cards I think will be decent for just support. I mean, try on the fascinating fiend. When it's normal summon, you can add one hole of trap hole normal card from your deck to your hand. I run bottomlesses as a staple anyway, so um, this might be a decent support card for that. And then also when he specials someone, I can target one spell and trap my opponent controls and destroy it. If I draw into a monster reborn or a call of the haunted or whatever, some things that I usually run as staples, I can just go into this and pop off a back row. And um, Atora, the fascinating fiend, again they say uh, the activations effects of normal trap cards I control cannot be negated. So that is a uh, it's a decent effect. I'm not I don't have to worry about my trap cards getting negated. So also a good staple. But then the uh, Ka Kazuru the Fascinating Fiend is um you you need more than one uh, fascinating monster for its effect to be uh, really effective so again it's not the best uh, if you're interested this is an earth archetype along with uh, uh, Tora and Trion is our insects and Kazuru is a plant so yes again like I said six seven years ago I think it would be really good in today's age uh, not the best so that's just my thoughts on the fascinating fiend dark type if you have any thoughts of your own remember to leave them in the comments section down below also if you enjoyed the video remember to give it a like rating and subscribe for more videos again guys this is round panel one and i'll see you all next time peace